The Rush Hour for you Wednesday. Jammed packed show coming up. Toby Green, the newly appointed GWS captain to join us shortly. Of course, it is hump day, so that means a hump day quiz. Oh, no. And wasn't it brilliant last week? We talk the highest paid entertainers at some point. We go to feedback with Rosemary, Jay-Z yep. Clark in to talk all things footy and a bit more cash and high paid athletes. Mm. Plus, to finish off the show, there'll be a ripping joke as I welcome the man who tells them. Mr. Anthony William Brown. Oh, thank you, Daisy. Or Dale. How are you, Dale, today? Good, thank good you. Eh? That's Anthony. Right. Hey, Neil Danaher's birthday today. Turns Is it? 62, the great Happy man. Happy birthday. Former Assumption College student. Another and star from out of there. Yeah, exactly. A, a who? A Lumiere. A, yes, a, a, a great past student. <laughs> He's uh, Neil O, uh, second best uh, cricketer at Assumption over the years. Going with alumni. Alumni, that's <laughs> speaking of alumni, alumni out about. at Nary Warren State School, <laughs> Ramsey. Yeah, close. Lewis tried to uh, get it. Oh, oh wow. going through hard <laughs> there. <laughs> Bernie it's Vince so looked at Daisy Thomas, oh, and Daisy's man. coming we back. Go. Now we've got the stop in play. It's good to see a couple of old boys going at it. Whoa, oh. down he went. You went down. He absolutely shit mixed me. He did? <laughs> Straight through the middle, right in front of the MCC members. And I thought, no, get up. So the only thing, you know, when you get hurt, yes, good. I yeah. got up and just tried to fight him. And you're no good. Uh, no, he actually was quite funny. He thought it was quite hilarious. <laughs> and then apologised profusely. And then I looked after him and he didn't get a suspension. Should have oh, been three well, weeks. Well done. Thank you. Because he did a bit of tagging, didn't he? Yeah. Day? And uh, he got in a bit of trouble. Mm, good boy. Mm. To tag danger pretty well. He did. Very tight We've there. We've all done that. Oh, how'd you go? <laughs> ah, this was before he was good, but flogged him. Um, <laughs> anyway, more sports news, please. Yes, please. With Wappy. <laughs> now on Triple M's Rush Hour. Time for Wappy. <laughs> <laughs> it's Billy's All Sports Report. <laughs> oh, one of our favourites, Toby Green, who yes. will have on Hi, very... Bruce, I feel. Oh, g'day, Toby. Uh, very shortly, he is uh, going to lead the Giants. One out. Brilliant. So he got rid of Coniglio and he got rid of Josh Kelly and he said, I'm the man. So that is good. Be nice to talk to him about uh, the Giants and their new coach. Mm. King is up there. And all oh, things right. Egypt. Nah. Hopefully he's, yeah, Egypt he yeah. went to. Hopefully he doesn't go through any tunnels or anything. But uh, the hard man to catch sometimes, Tobe, isn't he? He is. <laughs> yeah. Dane Zorko has been put stepped down as captain <laughs> of the Brisbane Lions. <laughs> I'm going to talk to Jay-Z about this because this intrigues me. He's been captain since... 2018, so a long, long time, mm. and he has stepped down. So very interesting. It there, is Daisy. obviously referring to the incidents of last year, late mm, in the year, where right. there were some things were said and questions were asked. Yes. So, uh, well done to him on his tenure, though. Yes, the AFL has once again announced a price freeze for GA tickets to all games, good. all matches at the MCG and Marvel. Very good. This will be an interesting question for you. Oh. How much does it cost in for a, a cost to get in for an adult? I'm going to say twenty eight fifty. Twenty seven oh. bucks. Okay. Yeah. Concession eighteen bucks and five bucks for kids. How kids. much does it cost to go behind the glass when you go, Bill? Oh, cost them a few frogs. <laughs> <laughs> Running at a loss. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Victoria. Gee, they're going well. Has beaten Queensland by nine wickets in their Marsh Cup clash yesterday at the G. Okay. They cleaned them up in the Sheffield Shield, of course. Now they've won the Marsh Cup. Shorty uh, makes some runs. Matt Short opened the batting. 108 not out. Wow. 108 not. Who did he open up with, Harry? No, he didn't. Marcus Harry Harris come in at three, <laughs> but he made 78. Oh, oh, no wonder they won that. I know. Good work. Mm. Just cleaned them up nicely. They would have been good odds to back Matt Short. Mm. Wouldn't it? Do you know anyone that has? Yeah, busy out there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Took the sixes. Australia defeated Bangladesh by eight wickets uh, in the T20 World Cup. Well done to the girls. They're on top of Group 1 there. They're going well. Uh, Tiger Woods has made his return to the PGA Tour. Tell us about this, Dave. Yes, well, he's going to. It will be tomorrow. I think the first round will be. Righto. Um, but good to see. First tournament back in a long while. Yes. And good to see the players having the respect they deserve for the great man, saying it's an honour to have him back and to be sharing the fairways with him. Righto. And tell us about this new documentary called Full Swing. Oh, yeah. Which starts tonight on Net. 7 p.m. I think it is our time. So it's pretty much uh, the Drive to Survive, the F1 series, yep, yep. but of golf. Ah. And the year they've picked, of course, has been live golf as well, the transition from that and the PGA. So it takes you inside the ropes, into the locker room. Cannot wait for all golf fans and sports fans as well because I think the thing we learned with Drive to Survive was you didn't have to be an F1 enthusiast no, to get right into it. In. So spot it's on. always good. Spot in.
on in. So that is called <laughs> Full Swing Full Tonight. Full Swing Tonight, 7 Netflix. p.m. Righto. And one more. Mm-hmm. I know Ooh. you want to go to Toby. Uh, yes. The Kansas City Chiefs won the uh, trophy on the weekend. The trophy. What's it called? The Super Bowl. No, Lombardi. Oh. Lombardi, Lombardi trophy. <laughs> oh, Their second one in cocky. Yeah, he got yes. <laughs> Second one in four years. Very good. I caught up with Patty Mahomes. Is that his name? Yep. I wasn't sure. <laughs> Paddy Mahone, I caught up with him, and I said, any chance, any chance, Paddy, you got to see Riri's halftime appearance? I didn't, but I heard it was great. No. But uh, Coach Reed told us, he said, if you go out to watch the performance, just keep walking because you're not playing the rest of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Coach Reed. It would have been interesting if Paddy yeah. did do that. <laughs> yeah. I don't he wouldn't think he have kept walking. He would have said, come back, Paddy. He's tricking everyone else. Coach Reed, as he was eating a burger, said that. <laughs> Very good. Yes. That's it. That's it. Good rappy. Well done. Jay-Z Clark. Welcome, Jay-Z. Now, you've been everywhere. You've been all yes. the preseason games. So mm. where are we starting? Very busy. Um, let's talk about the uh, the money men. He's the big oh, story uh, today. We'll get to the intra-club news uh, in a second, uh, Daisy. But very interesting. The AFL is released, and they do this uh, every year in the preseason, the salary bandings. And that sort of confirms, really, how many players are earning the big bucks. And this mm. year, the big story to come out of it, fellas, yep. is that the top paid players, the rich are getting richer. So there was 12 players in the competition in 2022 who earned more than a million dollars. So you go back to 2021, there was only five. Yes. You go skip forward a year to 2022 last year, and there were 12. So the big boys, the ones who uh, fill the stands and get people buying all their memberships and are on the TV ads, they are earning the big, big uh, bickies. And I know you're thinking, Daisy, well, who's that? Yes, uh, we speculate. <laughs> we like to speculate. You like me, you know. Want to know the names? Who well, I'll give you the... a couple. Go on. Dusty oh, Martin. Oh, yes. You think? In. Paddy Cripps. Yes. In. Buddy. Yes. In, but not next year. All right. Took right. a haircut. Yeah, right You're on. good. You're on fire. A free man or oh, former captain? What about Melbourne? Christian. Oh. Christian Petrarca. Yes. Did you say five. Five. Yes. Even though he played eight games or whatever he played. Yeah, well, he was on a massive deal. Remember St Kilda threw the kitchen sink at him about six years ago. So he stayed out there in the West. Jeremy McGovern, he could be right up the very top end. He won near 1.2. Brody Grundy, of course. Brody Grundy. Yeah, $950,000 a year was his average salary at Collingwood. And that's why they lemon and sassed him. Uh, Toby Toby Green? Not quite at the Ooh, top We should end. have asked him today. Yes. Tommy Lynch at Richmond Spearhead and Jeremy Cameron, Jezza. the premiership forward. He's no, earned... He, uh, they all take about 600 down there at Geelong. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> all oh, not according to this. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Selfless. Actually, I'm um, looking at this pay list. Okay. Yes. Yep. 1990. <laughs> yeah. Yep. The highest paid was 100,000 to 200,000, eight players. Mm. And it wasn't fat. <laughs> I was the You're zero the... to 60 grand. <laughs> With 441 other mates. <laughs> 442 uh, of it, oh, yeah, which would be 441 <laughs> Thank mates. You, yeah. Vince. Ablett, yeah, so but... Ablett Buddha, maybe. Um, who oh. else would have been? Hinkley? Was he in the... David oh, Manchie no, he... would have been up there. Uh, Hinkley. Brant Tanner. Ronnie um, Burns. Basil Derek Snowden. Hall. But what do you think? Danny Dick Voss. Danny Dick Voss. No. There's a name. But they, the, do we like this? Do the players like this being the put players out there? hate this? Oh, yeah, they do. The players they? hate this because it, nothing good comes of it because there is no real um, certainty attached to it. Mm-hmm. You can speculate as much as you want, and mm-hmm. you do get pretty close from your sources yes. and club land and yeah. where all the legs come. But yeah. then it's just used purely against you. It's not very rarely, I should say, is it used mm. well. He's worth that. Yep. No one's ever saying, oh, Lynch is worth 1.5, but good on him. He's taken 1.2 when he kicks 10 goals. Yeah. yeah. It's he's overpaid. That's all the fans buy into. Yes. Not great. What, what yeah. Unless the journos release what they earn. That'd be the players coming. Yeah. Well, <laughs> would not be a disappointment on that scale. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'd way, have some empathy. I'll, yeah. Exactly. I've got a bone to pick with you. Yes. Daisy, yes. Because I heard you did your top hey. 15 most influential I read it out, Jay Z. No. And listen. I would assume, I would assume. Yes. That Jay Z would be there. In mm. the. In the pointy part if of it. If you're at number three or four. Yes. We, I didn't think I'd be at number three. Well, you did when, when the you list wrote was the emailed list down. to me. <laughs> stop trying to tip me in from this. It came to my email from an anonymous source. No. Daisy at sca.com.au if you want to flick me one. <laughs> hey, what well, about Sydney? Your, Who's the highest paid at Sydney? I wouldn't be in your top 150. It's, um, of course, Lance Franklin... Uh, of last yeah, year, yeah, yeah. but the guard is changing. So now Isaac Heaney is Ooh, right up yeah. there. Callum Mills is right Ooh. up there. Luke Parker's been one yeah, who's, right who's earned mm. a lot. So, but uh, Heaney, the poster boy 
um, is the one who earns it. The big squeeze is on at Carlton. I'll get your, I'll get your oh, thoughts oh, on this, to be. Yes. Daisy, because you think about sort of next year and when the trends are going. Tommy De Koning at Carlton. He is one of the most sought after players in the competition. We know St Kilda. We know Essendon would love to have him. He's one who's going to go north. But when you consider that Patrick Cripps is on uh, a million bucks, he got to Harry Mackay, Charlie Kerno, who in a match sim last week looked absolutely oh, Charlie. unbelievable. Sammy Jacob Walsh. Wiedering, Walsh. Sammy Walsh. So the squeeze is on at Carlton at the end of the year. Wow. And, and I think about Jack Martin, who's been highly paid. I think about Mitch McGovern. And Zach Williams. Yes. And I just wonder whether one of those three might have to be shed to keep De Koning sure. and others because it seems like it's a fair old squeeze day. So they need ooh. success, Jay-Z. That's a simple answer. Go and give yourself a really good tilt at finals or see that it's right on the horizon. Mm. Either play a final, go deep into finals mm. this year because that becomes a bit like Geelong. If you win one or you get close, there's the incentive to stay for less. We all take a pay cut, boys. We'll get the ultimate. Oh, yeah. Rather than when that's not happening. Spot on. There's a lot of blokes coming with their hand out. Didn't you, when you took that, the uh, monster paycheck at Carlton Daisy, my mind's just flashed back for a second. Didn't you very selflessly take a bit of a pay cut at one point, just handed a bit of one. six Did figures you? back? Yeah. Because I, you uh, the I got to, Why? I hit a trigger clause, which meant I would have got a fifth year with the uh, total player payment increases as well. So it would have been north of probably that. And oh. I said, uh, don't worry about it. Pay me and play me on merit. So I gave it back, which you ever sit down there two now? years later when yeah. they gave me the lemon sauce, <laughs> I regretted. And uh, I think if uh, Stephen Trigg can respond to my email at Daisy at SCA, uh, I'll send him my best band account. And he can just flick me yes. 700. We'll call it even. Uh, oh, Sound all right? Phil yes. Davis there, isn't it? Very good. So, uh, <laughs> Is Phil still... Davis playing this year? Is He's that... on a rookie list. He's on a rookie list. Yeah. 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 I thought he retired. On minimum chips. Well, mm -hmm. there is one bloke on this list getting paid zero to 60. I think oh, that was no. um Who's that? that could be filthy. One of the, one of the mid season pickups because okay. it's only a fifty thousand dollars six year contract. So overall, in, in tying this <laughs> poor, up, poor. Um, the average salary went up to four hundred thousand dollars per player, excluding rookies, which is nice. And for the AFL executive, Ooh, yeah. we can't leave these guys out of it mm. either, and girls, I should say. Yes. One point three million dollar average salary. <laughs> average. For the average people. Who that includes the so big the dog people who Lachlan. don't play the game get paid more than average. They hmm. run the game, okay. They run the game, so <laughs> and the and the game is healthy. <laughs> so you go back to COVID, <laughs> yeah, but this is why Daisy. You talk to it, me. It, in COVID, it was a forty million dollar loss. The game was in peril. Yes, right, really struggling. Last year, they made a twenty million dollar profit. So these hmm. smart people who earn one point three a year. Obviously doing a good job, Bill. Good on them. Well, hang around because, as we said, you've been to every preseason All match, up. and there's lots to talk mm. about. Buck. All right, OJZ, yes. who's on fire? Who's hot from what yep. your take is so far in the, the preseason? Yeah, the two the two best clubs that I've seen over summer, watching them carefully. I'm out there in the car parks. I'm out there in the dog parks. <laughs> I'm watching, you know, <laughs> Taron Thomas, is, is he training on his own or whatever? I'm out there all the time. Daisy, you think Melbourne and Collingwood are the two Ooh. standouts to me. Yeah, they've been so impressive. And Brody Grundy yes. didn't train Today, he had a download day. I think Jack Viney had a download day on Friday. So they are pulling a couple of the big names out every now and then. But it is brutal, the Melbourne training sessions. They are playing contested footy, surge forward. I think we're going to see Jacob Van Ruyen starting the goal square instead of uh, Benny Brown uh, this year. And I think we're going to see the old Melbourne, the 2020 mm. Melbourne, as opposed to the 2021 Melbourne. So they're right up there. And Collingwood, I think, is the other club. Been so impressed. You maybe have a, well, a little bit of a question mark over the midfield depth. But Jordan Ngoi and Nick Dacos, they Ooh. have been absolutely unstoppable. Ngoi, I'm hearing that. How's the ruck situation going there? Are we concerned? Is that the only asterisk? That it is. You're right. Darcy Cameron, who has had that hamstring niggle, is going to have to lead the ruck. And then Mason Cox steps in. But as you know, Daisy, man, in the ruck these days, they're just trying to bring it to gamp ground, provide a contest, mm. and then the follow-up work. So that, 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 is, that is an issue for them. McStay's been working hard in the forward half. Uh, he'll add some speed. And ginevan has been very good. So I'm bullish mm. on Collingwood. Right. I am... I don't oh, who are you cold on? Well, I'm a glass half full guy, Billy. I like Sorry. to see, you know... Tip that, it out a little well, bit and get to the negatives. On. But, no, no, but... <laughs> I did have a look at Essendon, I think it was last Friday. Ooh, wow. Just and give them a kick in the guts they, while they're down. Probably, they had a real rough first quarter. Oh, the, the, the skills were poor. It does... I know they're trying to bed down a new game plan, and I like what Brad Scott's doing. They're probably a bit slower and a bit more controlled out of the back half. And that, to me, is in the face of probably what we're seeing in the competition. There is a trend to sort of... Yes. You see, think of Collingwood, Get right, it and go. Days. 
Get it go. Richmond, your forward hand pass on the move. Were they playing, though, the probables versus the not possibles? possibles? Yes, they were. They, okay. were, they were sort so of. So it should have been a bit more of a demolition job because yes. that's where you can get a little bit confused. Right. Two players there. Matches. Skipper, yes. how's he look? He, he's going good. I'm not sure he's in the round one team, but oh, I no. think he's real close. Stringer? They're loving a guy called Jai Menzi in the forward pocket. Oh, Stringer. Boy, from Tassie. Yes. Yeah, he's been Played really... South Adelaide last year. Yes, that's him. Really, mm. really impressive. Um, Stringer has had a couple of weeks off. He's a bit sore in the back. Mm. He did run 10Ks, I believe, on right. Friday. Yeah. Does he look fit? Wayne's never looked fit, I don't reckon. No, no he's no. never... A couple of years ago, he came out when he said a lot. He was as lean as I've ever seen. I saw him at a golf day. I thought, gee, you're going to... This contract, Give yourself every chance. Yeah. This contract year. Okay. Oh, so we love it. You had a very good year, I remember. One <laughs> All right. Which uh, leads us into... Wellingham yes, theory. Leads us into injuries. <laughs> yes. So I think the big question mark for a couple of clubs is what's happening in the key forward area. None bigger than St Kilda, who have lost Max King, of course, and Jack Hayes. Now, they've only got Tim Membry as a main banana. Who's going to partner him? Mm. A kid called uh, Mitch Owens, 191, I think, has been trialled there. In the, uh, he's very tough. He, he looks good. Anthony Caminiti, they're brought yeah. onto the SPP Where list. do they pluck him from? From the uh, Northern Knights. Yeah. He's, so, a, he's a relation to Lindra at the Grill on the Hill. There you is go. he? Yep. Fun fact. You know everyone does. I do. You know, yeah. um, so, so we so must you, go there. But, so. Uh, but again, if so they're relying on second string. It's before round one. That's yep. got to be concerning. If it's not Josh Battle to swing forward, they yeah. might have to go small ball, St. Kilda. Yeah. And that's Butler. That's Higgins. I think our man Roscoe's got to, he's, uh, he's got to work ahead of him, cutting together a forward line. What off. about the Hawks? Yeah, yes. they're the other big Mitch ones. Mitch Lewis is oh, out for yeah. a four or five. Another club who doesn't have a lot of depth. So mm. they're looking at Emerson Jecker, sort of a, a young key forward. Um, you know, Justin Kajitsky, yeah. not Justin Kajitsky, uh, Jacob Kajitsky, of course. Um, so look in attack, I think it's going to be a really tough year for Hawthorne. You think in their midfield as well, there's Jai Newcomb, there's Will Day, Warple. there's Josh Ward and there's, and there's Warple. Mm. Other than that, they're looking at a couple of kids. Dylan Moore. Mm. Our man. Our boy. Moore. Yeah. Weddle. So I think they're going to be tested for yeah, death. Light on. Weddle. Where the, I think they could finish last Hawthorne. I wouldn't, wouldn't, well, sh- wouldn't, wouldn't shock me Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. we all say they've lost experience. Uh, a lot of experience, yep. but they don't like that in house, or they don't like they bristle when we say that. Who's going to be up forward at Geelong? Jeremy Cameron and who? I think it could be Shannon Neal, Scratcher, who gets first <laughs> crack at it for Tommy Hawkins. Yes. Now they tell me down there at Catland, his uh, recovery is going well, but we'll take no risks with um, him coming back early. So he foot injury? Trained. Yes, foot injury. Yeah, he's a big boy. Oh, That's he's a, a huge boy. So, Plus, he hasn't been at training for a month, though, no. <laughs> we might not see him. We might not see him in the first month. Asava Radagalia is still training down, down back. back. Yeah. We're going to see a new forward uh, set up. Ollie and, Henry on fire down there. They're loving him. Going to play half back. Mm, maybe. Half back wing jump at the footy. And mm. some news on the captaincy front, uh, fellas. So Brisbane's Dane Zorko. What has... happened there? Why did he step down? Oh, I he think pushed he, down. I stepped down. Was he pushed or, or he... I think so. Yeah. He just tripped down well, the steps. You can walk off the plank, but when you've got 700 blokes trying to it's sort of jab <laughs> it. You sort of really got that's no other... Call as you see it, and that's <laughs> how we see it. <laughs> Good on you. So who's going to get it? I think it'll be a Lockie Neal. He yeah. would deserve it. Harris Andrews, the other one. Hugh McCluggage, probably not ready at Essendon. Uh, Dyson Hipple is the most vocal man on the track. He's he's the loudest all the oh, time. You good. think he potentially... Endorsed a couple of times now as well and yeah. won by the coach, which is always good. And yes. looks good. He's been playing well. He's been one of the better Frio, ones. Frio, where do they land, do you think? Is, there is a big push for Alex Pierce um, with uh, Andrew Brayshaw, of course. So yeah, it could Pierce would be a bit of a boil over. No but he captains, is, I reckon. Not Brennan Cox after he fell off the skateboard. Yeah. <laughs> It's time to give the extreme games away. Right? <laughs> Falling off a skateboard. It happens. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Not anymore. And you tip it Geelong? Uh, I still think um, Paddy. Paddy Danger. Paddy Danger. Uh, for a, one year or two years. And then Tom Stewart? And then maybe Tom Stewart. It takes over. Yeah. Very good, uh, mate. Comprehensive yeah. as always. I may just have to look at that well list done. again and see mm. if I can reply and yes. get you in the top 15. Well done. Thanks for everything, Jason. Jason Clark tipping a Melbourne Collingwood grand final oh, already. Oh, yes. 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 A triple M. Didn't get a lot of hat tricks in my cricket career. Could imagine why. Mm. So here we go. This may be one for the kiddies out there. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> you started with that. <laughs> why is a fish so easy to weigh? Why? Because they come with their own scales. Oh, go home. <laughs> oh, that is tripe. <laughs> 
You know what? I'm not coming in tomorrow. <laughs> Good. Um, it's that bad. What? Where did you get Here's that? I went to the. Um, saw a lady the other day. <laughs> <laughs> I went to the saw the lady, and I said, "Do you have any?" Went into the library. Any books? <laughs> I'm just reading this. Do you have any books? Oh. Do you have any books on turtles? Hmm. She said hardback. I said, yeah, yeah, that's it. The ones with the little heads. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, no. Turn it off, Rabs. <laughs>